the content that you're delivering, I can quickly overturn a lot of those calls who are telling me, hey, please call, put me on your do not call list. Please, um, you know, take my number off your line or please, you know, call me back later. I quickly overturn that now with just a few simple questions that I'll ask him. Hey, let me just send you that email. You know, so <laughs> now, like instead of having the door shut on you, it's like the door's open and then you're able to kind of walk through that door, which is awesome. Yeah, so overall, my biggest problem or my biggest hurdle that I had in general was essentially um, the ability to create that need for a borrower. You know, I'm coming into the business not understanding the entirety of mortgages in general, mm -hmm. but I really did care for the borrower. And so when I'm presenting everything logically to them and it made sense in my mind, I thought it would make sense in their mind. You know, and I would come off the phones with literally being able to provide people all of their debt paid, giving them thirty thousand dollars in the cash, you know, like in their savings account, in their checking, and then we would end the conversation with let me think about it, and then they end up actually not even picking up my call. Yeah. So it was so frustrating because I honestly felt like we had a great connection with the borrower overall. But the issue was on my second follow up call, my third follow up call, my umpteenth call back it's like they're still ignoring me and so i would go through a week two weeks since the mortgage business trying to do that overall and i got really frustrated so out of desperation literally out of desperation i went on youtube a thought came across my mind saying there's got to be something for loan officers and so i typed in loan officers um sales script or loan officers strategy and then you were the first one that popped up nice. you know a lot of views and so I came across that plus you're Asian too as well so I got to get it so essentially when I came across sales remastered I discovered very quickly where I actually um, was failing at and I was failing in the area of really finding the pain for the borrower and I'm solving that pain you know and so you you have a great psychological game plan towards loan originating and so in all honesty, I've tried it maybe for about three weeks right now, and I'm seeing tremendous results. A nice. lot of good. Yeah. Nice, so nice. I don't feel like I'm up there yet, so that's sure. why this is, you know, the call so important to me. Cool. So from the, you know, I'm not sure if you found any other sales training content online, mm -hmm. um, but from what you've experienced on the content at Sales Remastered versus the content that's given out by other sales training entities or personas, mm -hmm. What right. do you, you know, what do you, what do you think is the difference? So the main difference is, man, you are wired to the core in terms of your DNA to really care for people. And I can see that off the bat. And so from all of the other programs I've stumbled across or looked across and tried to research or even viewed to as well, it was really more of a pitch towards me. So I felt like I was being pitched at, and then obviously at the very end, it was like, you know, to sign up, go ahead and click on this link. And it was just like, it was very overwhelming. And so I didn't want to listen to overall. Um, and then secondly too, as well as the content that they were delivering wasn't really good content in terms of me getting an understanding what the borrower is really thinking, you know, cause at the end of the day, it's really trying to provide uh, a solution for their problem and you really want to care for them and so i i honestly felt like your content when you delivered it it was from your heart it wasn't from your head you know and so it was really more so me understanding that you really cared so yeah, yeah. that's why I liked it a lot. you cared a lot you know for us and so i'm like man if this guy can give me this content to guys like myself i'm really happy you know yeah that's awesome yeah. man that's really cool and then uh, if you can just take us to a moment when you realized that the content you were learning at sales remastered actually started working in comparison to strategies you were using before oh my gosh i would say it's it worked immediately when i understood the whole entire concept meaning i had a good grip of it i practiced it enough times in terms of the script that you handed out for free yep. right the content that you delivered um when I actually went through it a few times and basically had a good rhythm, a good routine, it was rolling off the tip of my tongue. The first person that I tried it on ended up moving forward. Nice. So it was it was good. It was awesome because 
I genuinely felt like I got the chance to listen to all of their goals. And I didn't pitch them a program. I pitched them literally a solution to their problems. You know, instead of saying, this is what the low program provides, I was able to pitch them and saying, hey, this is going to solve, you know, the debt that you're in. It's going to pay for your kid's college. It's going to take care of that granite counter tops that you want to <laughs> remodel your kitchen with. So I was a lot more detailed. Yeah. Um, much more systematic too as well. So I didn't give some of the information that I would normally do on the beginning of the call. I waited for it until the end of the call. So I realized through the content that you delivered on YouTube that, that um, you know, timing is so important and the yep. execution of it is very important. So I was uh, emotionally, I was informationally vomiting on them, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, that's what I did. I was like, hey, this is what we could do. Da, 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 da. Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. So it sounds like, um, you know, you recently started putting this into effect and, um, you know, compared to, you know, before you started using the information I was sharing online um, to to now, you know, what's the engagement like now using the content you found at Sales Remastered? Mm. So in terms of like engagement, are you talking about engaging people over the phone on a yeah. conversation? Yeah, pretty much just engaging them uh, using the strategy that I outline at Sales Remastered versus the old fashioned way of just using it on the traditional sales trainer recommendation. Right, right. Absolutely. So in terms of engagement, I would say the conversations I've been having with a lot of the borrowers are much more intimate. You know, it's much more detailed. Um, I have exactly what I need to position myself to basically solve the problem that they're going through. Um, and with the content that you're delivering, I can quickly overturn a lot of those calls who are telling me, Hey, please call, put me on your do not call list. Please, um, you know, take my number off your line or please, you know, call me back later. I quickly overturn that now with just a few simple questions that I'll ask him. Hey, let me just send you that email, you know, so <laughs> now, like instead of having the door shut on you, it's like the door's open and then you're able to kind of walk through that door, which is awesome. Nice. Uh, so yeah, my engagement has changed. You know, I, I used to get no's all the time, but now it's definitely left and I'll still get it. Uh, but you know, it's a, it's a tweak that I'm still working on. Let me show you everything I know. A jungle slide.